mind maps, creative note taking. Now it's clear that having a good memory is not an innate human capability, rather it's a skill that can be acquired and improved over time. The important thing is that it must be practiced like any other mental skill. We have learned various methods of improving memory through the principles of association and imagination. Think of horse. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? The spelling of horse or a picture of horse? It most certainly will be the second, the picture of the horse. The reason this happens so naturally is because the brain stores information more easily in the form of pictures. Two components of improving memory have already been introduced to you, association and imagination. The third component um, is representing the information pictorially. Indeed, a picture is worth a thousand words. This is more so with respect to storing the information and recalling it with ease. Mind map is one such tool that helps integrate these two very important aspects of the brain's functioning, association and pictorial representation. We are going to introduce two to mind map, which will not only help you improve your memory, but also help you to be organized in your work. The act of mind mapping increases association, imagination, and creativity. So it's the perfect tool to improve memory. What is a mind map? Mind map is a creative and effective means of not taking. Mind map is a graphical technique which offers an overview of a topic and complex information in a visual form where we start with a central idea and expand outward to more in-depth subtopics and branches. Each branch holds a key image or keyword, details are added to the main branches and radiate out. Its structure is more of a radial type like that of a tree seen from the top branching out in all directions from the trunk, or it can be compared to a city map where different main roads starting from a central point of a city radiating in all directions, further branching into subroads and lanes spreading throughout the city like a web till the outskirts of the city. Mind maps have many applications in personal, family, educational, and business situations, including taking notes during a lecture or a business meeting, summarizing a topic or a chapter you are studying for your exams, making your, uh, your notes while reading, mapping out your thoughts while planning an event, setting career goals, brainstorming various possibilities, to work out a problem, but before going in to the details of its usage, first let's learn how to create a mind map. How to make mind maps. To draw a mind map, do the following. 1. Turn your page on its side landscape, making sure that it's a blank paper. Start at the center with an image of the main subject or main idea using at least three colors. Image speaks a thousand words. Starting in the center gives your brain freedom to spread out in all directions and to express yourself more freely and naturally. Three, add the main branches representing the subject's main topics using keywords and images. 4. Add sub-branches to the main branches, having further detail with more keywords and images. 5. Make your branches curved rather than straight-lined. 6. Use colors throughout and make your mind map as beautiful as possible. 7. Write your words clearly and use only one word per line. 8. Use arrows to connect linking ideas. Your brain works by association. 
It likes to link two or three things together. Linking the branches will help you make connections and understand and remember a lot more easily. Why mind maps? Mind maps can be more effective than other brainstorming and linear note-taking methods for a number of reasons. A mind map can at once give you an overview of a large subject while also holding large amounts of information on a single page. Instead of boring linear note-taking, the combinations of words and images with colors makes it more memorable and enjoyable to create and review. It combines both left and right brain thinking, which means that you will remember the information better than if you just had lines of words. It mimics the way our brains think. You can generate ideas very quickly with this technique and are encouraged to explore different creative pathways. In one survey, executives who started using mind mapping said they were able to work significantly faster than before. And research suggests mind mapping can improve learning and memory by 10 to 15 percent versus conventional note-taking and studying techniques. The whole concept of mind maps, what they are, why to use them, how mind maps can be made and their uses, all have been summarized in the following mind map. Mind map about planning a party. Planning may be done for organizing a party or a trip to the US or planning your schedule for the coming weekend. Let's say you have to plan your son's birthday party. A little planning goes a long way towards making things run more uh, smoothly and in an organized way without any last minute hustles. Mind mapping helps you plan ahead by seeing the whole picture with all the good and bad possibilities. Here is a mind map presenting some of the possibilities and options. You can map out your own perfect party, step by step mind mapping your party. First of all, draw a central image on a blank page, turn it sideways, presenting your party. You can make it catchy by drawing a cake on it. Second. Draw your big main branches coming off this image. These branches may give you the answers to the following. When to have a party, where to have it, who will be invited, theme of the party, food, music, games, return gifts. Draw each branch in a different color to make it stand out. Once you have the main branches, you can add sub-branches by adding further details and options to the main branch. For example, while thinking of where to have the party, you can have options like whether to have it at home or an Arabic club or a restaurant. Draw a different branch for each of your options. Or you can keep on adding extra branches and putting in as much detail as you, ca as you can. You will be amazed by the number of ideas coming out of your mind that otherwise you might not have thought about it without using mind maps. After looking at all the possibilities, you can choose the best options according to your time, budget and comfort. You can further plan what work you will do and what work you will delegate to your friend, etc. Similarly, mind maps can be used to give presentations, brainstorming, the possibilities of increasing the productivity or efficiency of the company, summarizing the points of meeting, etc. Mind map about planning a trip. Usually, when we have to go for a trip, we make a list of all the things to be carried and check with it while packing our luggage. Below is the list of items given that I need to pack. Now, every time I pack something in the suitcase, I put a tick on it and then search what's left in this random list. 
which is time consuming. Instead of this, I, if I could convert it into a mind map, then things would be very easy. Now, if I have to check about what medicines I have left, I just need to go to the branch and check. Likewise, it helps me to further add on some items which I might have missed to write. So a mind map not only helps to check the list, it also helps in creating the list. How do mind maps improve memory? The act of mind mapping increases association, imagination, and creativity. So it's the perfect tool to improve memory. So how exactly do mind maps improve memory? Let's take a look. Mind maps only contain keywords. This means that the information to remember is prompted by short, memorable words with meaning. Mind maps promote associations and connections. As we know, association is an important way to improve memory. Mind maps use colors and images that stimulate your imagination. Imagination is the key secret to improve memory. How to improve concentration? Concentration is the process of taking your mind off many random thoughts and putting it on one thought task at a time. The success of the task at hand depends mainly on the level of concentration or concentrated efforts put in it. Sunlight seems pleasant to all and is necessary for our existence, but not everyone is aware that when the same pleasant sun rays are passed through a convex lens and made to fall on a piece of paper, they can burn the paper. How did the rays acquire this power? It was the result of making them converge and thereby concentrated at one point. Our mind works on the same principle when it's focused on a thought or an activity like a short ray of the sun, we can achieve unbelievable results. Our mind is always occupied with various thoughts, however, to concentrate on a particular task, it's necessary that our mind that our mind should not wander. It should remain bound to essential thoughts only. Um, to increase concentration and achieve such a state of mind, the following seven measures are recommended. Concentration exercises, observation skills, food for brain, keeping a check on your lifestyle, avoiding multitasking, setting clear goals, forgetting unwanted memories, meditation. Concentration exercises. Do something different every day. To develop flexibility and adaptability to change in your life, you must do something different every day like shop at a different store, take a different route home, read a book on an unfamiliar subject, try out new recipes, try thinking 10 innovative uses of a bin or any other object, close your eyes and sense your way slowly around a room, uh, involve yourself in a new game or sport like football. The sameness of everyday routine is a death for your brain. Use your body in new ways. Switch your handedness and comb your hair, brush your teeth, do your coffee or uh, do other simple tasks with your non-dominant hand. Spell words backwards. This is great for kids as well and has the added bonus of helping them to spell. Count uh, common words in a paragraph. Count words like it or and without using a finger to point to it. Doing simple mathematical calculations in your head is a very good exercise to improve concentration. Recalling the objects, look in your refrigerator brief, briefly, but thoroughly. Then close the door and enumerate the items contained therein. Do, do the same with the room of your house, a display window in a shop, 
or a detailed picture on a wall. Review your thoughts. At the end of every hour, review what happened to you during the previous 60 minutes. This is a good practice for being mindful throughout the day and should only take a few seconds. At the day's end, mentally review all the events that happened to you throughout the day up to your present memory point. Memory gaps about your day's events reveal unconscious moments. Do crosswords and puzzles. Practice doing a crossword. Play board games. Playing board games, especially chess, are a very good for exercising the brain. Read riddle books and try to solve them. Observation skills. One of the secrets to good memory is observation. To be able to observe better, you need to be attentive and focused. If you are not attentive, you cannot be observant. And if you are not observant, you cannot have a good memory. We cannot remember anything if we don't observe it carefully. It's the eyes that see, but it's the brain that interprets. Observation is really a matter of habit. Observing people and situations in an incredibly valuable tool to improve your concentration. It gives you the ability to notice subtle cues during uh, conversations, job interviews, presentations, and anywhere else so you can react to situations more tactfully. Many people must have witnessed an apple falling to the ground just as Newton did. However, uh, Newton observed the instance keenly and thought about it, unlike others who saw uh, but didn't observe. It was only due to Newton's observation skills that he arrived at the laws of gravity. Though there are a number of other ways to strengthen your observation, if you don't transfer these principles to your day-to-day uh, -day functioning and make it a habit, there will be no lasting impact on the powers of concentration. Exercises to improve observing and recollection skills. Take a pen and a piece of paper and from your memory try to list out all the things from any one of the rooms in your house, the furniture, pictures, shoe pieces, books, etc. Without actually going inside the room, after li listing the items, go back to the room and look at everything you missed things you saw countless times but didn't observe. Now observe everything closely, repeat the test and you will see that the list is now longer. Keep doing this every day and you will get better at it. You can do this exercise with er uh, anything, people's uh, faces, clothes, objects, dogs, etc. Basically anything with a lot of detail. Give yourself some simple observation tasks every day. For instance, if you are going to parties, observe the clothes worn by five people. After returning home, try to recollect the details. You may increase the number to 10 after a few days of practice. While shopping for food items, see biscuits. Try and observe how many brands of biscuits are available. What are the colors of their packaging? the difference in their prices and the flavor, etc. Observation tests, tests are excellent tools to both improve and track your improvements. Observation is a skill that takes time. Keep practicing even if you think you will never improve your awareness.